Today I'm going to show you how to create a beautiful transparent header for your website using Beaver Thema. Let's get started and see how to do this. Hi there, I'm Athlone from webassist.xyz where I build e-commerce websites. Today we're going to build a transparent header for this website. Currently we've got this white bar on the top with our menu which sits above all our content. So what we'll be doing is creating a sim simple transparent header that we can just overlay uh, on any or all pages on our website. What we'll be doing is creating a transparent header using Beaver Thema, which we can then select to have on certain pages on our website, certain areas of our website, even certain categories or blog posts, etc. or we can have it site-wide. Let's get started. I'm in the dashboard. I've got Astra theme installed. I'm using the pro version. You can use the free version of Astra. You can also use Beaver Builder theme you can also use Ocean WP or you can use Generate Press. There are a few themes that are built in the correct way that support Beaver Thema when you want to use custom headers and footers. So do keep in mind that you'll have to use the correct theme. Uh, these are some of the best themes that uh, are available. All of them have got excellent free versions, so please, please do have a look at those. You can go to the Beaver Builder website to have a look at what themes are compatible. I recommend either the Beaver Builder theme or otherwise Astra Pro or Free. In this case, I'm using Astra Pro. So to get started, let's go to Beaver Builder and click Thema Layouts. I'm going to click Add New. I'll give this a name, Transparent Header. It's a Thema Layout. That's my selection. And it's, a, of course, a header. There are other choices, as you can see. And I'll click Add Thema Layout. For our header, do I want it to be sticky? I'm going to leave it um, at No for now. As this is a transparent header, on overlay I must select yes, and then the background is transparent. Um, and then on our location, I'm going to make it site wide, which then will be entire site. As you can see, I can get very specific and granular and only have the specific header show on certain pages, certain posts, certain categories, um, certain products or product categories, for example. Lots and lots of uh, options here. For this demo, let's just select entire site. Now to get started, I'll say launch Beaver Builder. We are actually going to use Beaver Builder with Beaver Thema to build our layout. So I'm going to say launch. And there we are. Okay, so this is just some um, demo content that gets put in here by Beaver Builder to start with. What you can see here is a heading module and then a menu module with a row which has got a blue background. So we'll be swapping out a few things here. Now I'd like to use an image for my header. So what I'm going to do is grab a photo module, drag it in there. Now let me first of all back it up. I'm going to delete the photo module. Let's say that I had to leave it as is. Now remember what I've done is I've selected this transparent header to be site wide. So I'm going to save and publish. Now let's have a look at the site. So that would be my header now. I'm leaving it as is. I would like to just give you an idea of what we're doing here. This is the current header. I'm going to now, let's just open in a new tab and have a look at it. That is our new header. So it's as simple as that. Now I can go and tweak the header. So Beaver Theme has done all the heavy lifting. We've already got our header there, our transparent header. Now remember, that's what it looked like before. This is what it looks like now. Now there's a few things we want to change. Um, there's a top row and then there's the actual heading itself and it's using a text module instead of our logo. Remember our logo is this Heather Scott Motivational Speaker logo here. So what I'll do is I'll swap out that for our image and then we can just tweak a few of the colors here to make it blend in more or match rather our design. So we'll have a look at how we do those. And then for our purposes I don't need that top row there so I'm going to remove that as well. So let's go back to Beaver Thema, and there it is. Let's click on Beaver Builder to carry on editing. Now that's the top row there that I don't need. That row over there. So what I'll do is I am going to remove that row. Oops, wrong one. I'm going to, and you must be very careful. That's a graph that I've got with Beaver Builder. It's, it's sometimes it can be very confusing as to which row you're actually deleting. So if I click done and I say publish, it'll save my changes. I'm going to click discard to go back to where it was. Now remember, look, I could also just go and drag it in from the start um, and um, 
build it from there, which is, is I mean, there's no right or wrong way to do this. I'd just like to show you Beaver Builder doesn't yet have a undo button. So what you'll have to do is say discard, OK, and then it'll discard all my changes. Then what I'll do is I'll just go and re-edit it from the start. OK, so that is my one row and that is my top row. So that is the row that I want to delete. Okay, there we go. Okay, now remember this is a heading module. I want a photo for my logo. So I'll drag in a photo module there into this column. I'm now going to remove, well, let's go and edit it first. Let's select a photo. Okay, let's go upload files and select files. That is my logo. Uh, I'll select it, select photo. And there is my transparent logo. And then I'm going to remove my heading module. And there we go. Almost done. It's that simple. Now, this is a white logo that'll look better on a transparent background. Remember, our original logo was black. And obviously, if we had to have a black logo on here, it would be, there wouldn't be a lot of contrast and I wouldn't be able to read it correctly or see it. So that's not ideal. So what I've done is I've got a transparent or a, a version of my logo that looks good on transparent, which is that white one. Now I'll click done and I'll say publish. Let's look at the changes. That's what it was before. And I'm going to refresh. And there it is. Now we can maybe go change a little bit of these colors here. In fact, yes, let's change the colors there. Let's make it the same pink that we've got here. All right, let's edit it once again. Go into the menu model to edit. Go into style. There is the current uh, link background hover color. So I'm going to make it a, a similar pink to that. There we go. I'm going to select it. I'm going to submenu. I'm not going to worry about submenus now, but you get the idea. I'm going to say publish. And now, much better. And let's refresh. Oops, there we go. I've already um, forgot to mention something. Anyway, that's the first thing. Now, you can see there, there's no link there. Uh, my apologies. Um, what we need to do now is to make that a link. And this is the one of the beauty or powerful things rather, Beaver Thema. So we click on that. Now we need to say a link, a currently set to none. We need to say URL. And then what is the URL? We can go and search for a URL in here, for example, home or whatever. Let's say it was our contact page or whatever. That's not um, what we want. We want it to be a URL. So what I will do here is I will go and I will say site URL and I'll say connect. Everything with Beaver Thema, um, it adds this little plus button all over in Beaver Builder and then you can connect up all kinds of URLs, all kinds of um, field connectors is what they're called. That's where a lot of the power of Beaver Builder is alongside your conditionals. So what I've now done is I've made the, the logo a link with to the site URL. I'll click on save and done and publish. Let's refresh. There we go. And now it is clickable. Now we've got our beautiful transparent header. When I scroll down, it's not sticky. Let's say that I wanted to make this header sticky. Let's go into our back end. And we'll go to Beaver Theme Allowance. We'll edit our transparent header. Now, where it says sticky there, we've currently got it on no. Let us select yes. And then what options are there? Do we want it to shrink? You know, the words get smaller when we scroll down. Let's leave it on yes. Uh, we're gonna, going to leave it on overlay. That's fine. The other option is no. I'll update it. Now, what's happening? When I scroll down, it doesn't stick here. In other words, it's not sticky. Let's refresh. Scroll down and there you go. But as you can see, it's still got the blue color there, the background, which we have not removed yet. Remember, this is a transparent header, so I've left the background in. So to take care of that, very simple. We once again go in and edit our header with Beaver Builder and Beaver Thema. Now on the row, there's the blue background. This is a transparent header, so this background is not showing. Uh, when we are in regular mode. In other words, when it's at the top of the page. As soon as we scroll down and it sticks, then we can see that it's not transparent anymore. And then obviously that we can see the blue color. So a simple way to do that is now we go in and edit the color. So I click on the row edit icon and what color do I want my background? Let's say that I want to go with a dark 
black color. I can just select the color I want. Um, and there's my opacity. Let's make the opacity 20 and look at it, see what happens. So when I scroll down, that's the color it'll be, um, and it'll be semi-transparent. Let's go slightly darker. Let's make it, oh, let's make it 40. Okay, I'm going to save that and we can test it out and see if we like that. So I'll refresh. That's what it currently looks like. And now, as you can see, semi-transparent looks gorgeous. I'm happy with that. Now we can obviously tweak that to our heart's content, but I'm very happy with the look of that. And that is literally how simple it is using Beaver Thema to create a transparent header. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'm Athlon from WebAssist.xyz. I build e-commerce websites. If there's anything else that you'd like to see, please leave it in the comments below. Otherwise, please subscribe to my channel. If you find this content useful, please do also give this video a thumbs up. I really appreciate it once again. Take care, enjoy your day, and I'll see you very, very soon. Bye for now.